Welcome to another top 10 video. This episode is going to be about marine reptiles that lived alongside the dinosaurs. Just to clarify, none of the creatures in this video are actually dinosaurs, but most are relatives of them. Here are the top 10 prehistoric marine reptiles. Number 1. Elasmosaurus Elasmosaurus was a giant 14 metre long plesiosaur that lived around 80 million years ago in the late Cretaceous. The reptile was described in March of 1868 by the famous paleontologist Edward Dringer Cope, but when describing it, he mistakenly reconstructed the animal with its head on the wrong end. However, at the time he was an expert on lizards, which have a short neck and long tail, and a plesiosaur of such a huge size had never been discovered before, so his mistake is understandable. Number 2. Cronosaurus Cronosaurus, meaning Lizard of Kronos, was a short-necked pliosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous, 125 million years ago. Cronosaurus was one of the largest pliosaurs, at about 10 metres long, and it probably lived in shallow inland seas where Australia and Colombia are now. Fossilised stomach contents have been discovered in Australia, showing that Cronosaurus hunted turtles and plesiosaurs, and it might also have fed on giant squid, although there is no direct evidence for this. Number 3. Archelon Archelon, which means ruler turtle, is the largest sea turtle that has ever been documented, at 4 metres long and almost 5 metres wide from one flipper to another. Archelon lived 80 million years ago in the late Cretaceous, and was discovered in South Dakota in 1895. This giant lived in a time when a shallow sea was covering almost all of central North America, and it was adapted to feeding on mollusks, like squids, that lived there. Number 4. Nothosaurus Nothosaurus, meaning false lizard, was a sauropterygian reptile that lived about 240 to 210 million years ago, from the early to late Triassic. This animal was semi-oceanic, and most likely had a similar lifestyle to modern seals. At around 4 metres long, Nothosaurus had webbed toes which it would use to help propel itself through the water, and it used its paddles to dig into soft seabed as it hunted for hidden creatures. This is shown as fossilised evidence by trackways discovered in China in 2014. Number 5. Ichthyosaurus Ichthyosaurus, which translates as fish lizard, is one of the best known members of the ichthyosaur clade. It lived during the late Triassic and early Jurassic, with remains being found in Europe and Asia. Ichthyosaurus was first discovered by Mary Anning in England during the early 1800s, and was described and named in 1822. The animal was about 2 metres in length, smaller than a lot of related species. Fossils have been found with babies still inside them, which shows that Ichthyosaurus gave live birth. Number 6. Mosasaurus Mosasaurus lived at the very end of the late Cretaceous, about 70 to 66 million years ago. Fossils of the animal have been discovered in North America, as well as Western Europe. Mosasaurus was one of the largest mosasaurids, with one species reaching lengths of nearly 18 metres, and also one of the last, as mosasaurs went extinct along with the dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous. It is believed that mosasaurus lived near the surface of the ocean, where they could then prey on fish and other marine animals. Number 7. Plesiosaurus Plesiosaurus, which means near lizard, lived during the early Jurassic about 180 million years ago, and had quite a small head compared to other plesiosaurs. Plesiosaurus was not a very large animal compared to its relatives, reaching a size of about 3.5 metres long. The reptile was first discovered in December 1823 by the well-known English fossil hunter Mary Anning, before being described and named by William Coney Bear in 1824. Plesiosaurus's jaw and teeth were well adapted to feeding on fish, although it probably also ate belemnites and other prey. Number 8. Tylosaurus Tylosaurus was a mosasaur that lived during the late Cretaceous, from approximately 86 to 75 million years ago. Like all mosasaurs, it is actually quite closely related to today's monitor lizards. Tylosaurus would have been one of the top predators of the Western Interior Seaway, the huge inland sea that split up North America during the mid to late Cretaceous, along with various other species of mosasaur. It has been suggested that Tylosaurus may have used its elongated premaxilla to ram prey as well as members of its own species in intraspecific combat. Number 9. Stenopterygius Stenopterygius was a genus of ichthyosaur that lived in the early Jurassic of Europe. Specimens of the animal are known from England, France, Germany and other European countries. Stenopterygius was similar in morphology to Ichthyosaurus, but possessed a smaller skull and had narrower flippers, giving it its name, which means narrow fin. 
Stanoptorygius lived out in the open sea where it fed on fish and other animals, as can be seen from preserved stomach contents of the ichthysaur. Stanoptorygius was also probably a very fast swimmer, with an estimated cruising speed similar to that of a tuna's. Number 10, Lyplorodon. Lyplorodon, which means smooth sided tooth, was a large carnivore belonging to a clade of short necked plesiosaurs called the pliosaurs. The largest species of Lyplorodon could have reached lengths of 6.4 metres when fully grown, not the hugely exaggerated length of 25 metres depicted in the BBC's Walking with Dinosaurs. Lyplorodon was first discovered in the 1870s and was named in 1873. Fossils of the pliosaur have been found in England, France, and Russia. Lyplorodon was likely a very powerful swimmer, as it had four strong limbs adapted into flippers. This four flipper mode of propulsion allowed the animal to accelerate very quickly, which would have been useful when hunting. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which prehistoric marine reptile is your favourite, and remember to subscribe for more videos like this one.